Thousands of miles away, service members aboard Camp Leatherneck also hit the pavement for the Marine Corps Marathon Forward. Lance Corporal John Tucker takes us there. 26.2 miles daunts even the most skilled distance runners. But for Captain Angelica Valdez, it all goes back to something one of her mountain warfare training instructors told her as she hiked up the side of a mountain in California. And all I remember him saying was just one step at a time, just put one foot in front of the other. So, and that usually is what keeps running through my mind after mile 17, mile 18 is, okay, just one foot in front of the other, one step at a time, and I will eventually make it to the finish line. But Valdez is no stranger to the challenge. This is her fifth marathon, and her second one while deployed to Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan. In fact, in 2011, she was the first woman to cross the finish line at the Marine Corps Marathon Forward. The marathon in D.C. attracts runners and spectators from around the world, a luxury for participants that Valdez misses. People are lined up throughout the entire course, so even when you want to stop and you want to walk, you, you really can't when you have people looking at you and hoping that you finish. So that's the hardest part out here is that um, I just know that there's going to be those long, quiet stretches of road. Her goal was three hours, 15 minutes, but unfortunately she fell short, finishing around three hours and 25 minutes instead. I feel good and happy. My legs are just cramped. This year, more than 290 deployed personnel took part in the marathon's 38th year, bringing a piece of home and the marathon's tradition of excellence with them across the finish line. Lance Corporal John Tucker, Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan.